to go to the store and get some groceries for Casey's food. He eats like a lot of yogurt and stuff like that. So, and some cheese and fruits, just things that Casey enjoys eating. So I'm gonna go get that right now. And then, yeah. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a vlog because I haven't vlogged in a long time. So this is gonna be a new vlog. So yeah. So I wanna tell you guys something like crazy that happened while I was at work this morning. Um, so I was at the customer service counter because I'm being trained in the customer service counter as well as a cashier. And um, the roads are really icy because there's been a, it's been snowing like crazy. Like, in all the states lately I've noticed but Utah is notorious for snow so it's not like weird or anything and we're all used to it and everything else but there's like an intersection that's right next to my work and this silver like Ford SUV was turning left it's really hard to explain but she was turning left and then she started sliding and crashed into a power line and the power lines fell down like just the main power line so the computer programs all like shut down and everything because the power went out like, they couldn't like fix it or anything so there's like cops like swarming my the entire parking lot of Lowe's and talking to the lady her entire hood was like literally smashed up against her windshield so it was a pretty bad wreck she seemed to be okay because she like got out of her car and everything um so she seemed to be okay. Um, she pulled her car into Lowe's, even with all the damage it had. And then, so the cops were talking to her in the Lowe's parking lot, which is where I work and where I plan to work forever. And if you guys are wondering, so yeah, that's that story. And then if you guys are wondering, um, I've had a hard time keeping jobs for like a few years. And I've had a really hard time finding a job that like is for me that I enjoy working at. So I've had a, a, quite a bit of jobs. So that probably doesn't look very good on my part, but I don't know. But so before I worked at Lowe's, I worked at Ross with my mom and that just wasn't for me. I didn't like how early it was. I didn't like stocking. I didn't like unloading a truck. It just was not for me. And so Lowe's on a, is like a different story. I actually enjoy working at Lowe's. Like, it's a positive environment. Nobody's mean. Nobody's ornery. It's just like a happy environment. And it's a really nice environment for me. I enjoy being a cashier. I, I've always enjoyed being a cashier. I was a cashier at Dollar Tree for almost two years back in 2016. I started in March of 2016 at Dollar Tree and like left around February of 2017 no 2018 almost I think it was almost 2018 when I left that job so I worked there for a while so I really enjoyed being a cashier and now that I'm a cashier again I plan on staying here hopefully for years and hopefully to be promoted one day I don't know how YouTube's gonna work out for me if YouTube started working out I might not even work at Lowe's but I'll probably or maybe I'll always work there I don't know because YouTube is like up and down so yeah that's pretty much what's going on in my life right now. So I'm gonna go to the grocery store and I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right guys, we're all from shopping. Um, I couldn't really film much of that because Jason was being very ornery and he was trying to get out of the car and he was just with the whole big mess. And he just had dinner. He had raspberries, whole yogurt, whole Greek yogurt and bananas. And while he was eating, all of a sudden he just started crying and screaming. So I don't know if he's a filter or what. Literally just sitting there in the bath currently, so I don't know. But yeah, I suck at vlogging. I'm
Uh, all right, so Kason's bath is done. Wait for him to finish drinking his bottles. So I can put his pajamas on all the way. Apologize about the lighting. It's dark because my mom's watching like some type of show or something. But Kason's being a really big butthead and I don't know why. So it looks like Kason found my sister's phone. She has like a little iPhone. She's only seven, so it doesn't have service. But Kason's like in love with, oh my gosh, his onesie. I'll have to fix that. But they're like, those are 18 months, so they're kind of big on him. Hello. What? Uh-oh. 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 No? Where are you going? Can I brush your hair? No? Uh, what is that? What is that? This stuff. No, I don't know what that is. The Hi, Kisi. Uh oh. Look, he won't say uh oh anymore. I don't want to say uh oh. So, I just want to show you guys the cute books that he got from Valentine's Day from my grandma, which is his great grandma. They are so cute. This one's about like a mom penguin and her child penguin. It's like super freaking cute. And it has like all these cute little things in it. If I can find this book, I'll link it in the description. Then he also got one that says, I love hugs and kisses. And in this book, it like says, I love hug me when we're in the car, kiss me under the stars, just stuff like that. They're so cute. Case is over there enjoying himself with the dog bowls. <laughs> but our kids, babies are into everything. So. <laughs> There's not really a lot going on in our lives, yeah. Kason goes to bed in about 25 minutes. And then I was going to show you guys like all the clothes that I'm going to be listing on my kid is in. Once he goes to bed. And so that's what I'm going to do Oh gosh. That is so loud. Guys, so Kason is in bed, and I just want to show you guys like how many boxes full of clothes I have that I'm posting on my kid is in. And what kid is in is, is you can sell used um, clothes, toys, baby items, mom clothes. They have like a mama section for like mom clothes that you're selling. Um, they have to be in good condition. They can have stains, um, and it's really cool, like, um, you can have the shipping be deducted from the money you make, like, if, let's say you list something for $18, I'll deduct about $3 for the shipping, and so you'll sell something for $18, you'll make $15, because they deduct the shipping costs from the amount that you make which is awesome so you don't have to pay extra for a shipping label and that's what i did i sold a pair of red bands that Kason does not wear anymore and they sold quick um, i have a lot of clothes listed on there so if you are about to have a baby or you have a son um that's not quite if you're looking for like those for for a good deal i'm selling a ton of clothes on there if you want to check it out but let me just show you how much clothes I have that I posted on there. So those three love boxes are full of clothes. Well, most of the clothes I post on there are six to nine months, six months, nine months, and then 12 month clothes. Cause he just recently grew out of all those. I sold a lot of his other clothes to like people locally on like a mark my Facebook marketplace. So I don't really have like the three month clothes, six month clothes anymore. Here is an example of something I'm listing. This is so cute. I'm sad to see it go, but he grew out of it, so. <laughs> this is like all the clothes I have. I think this is so freaking cool and retro. It's like a Johnny Cash little t-shirt, 12 months, but it doesn't fit him, so. And I just got my code for the Kid is in app. I will go ahead and display that code here, and if you sign up using that code, you get $5. You'll automatically get $5, so if you want to sign up 
if you're interested, you can use my code and go ahead and sell and get your money's worth or money back from all the clothes that you buy because I know they grow out of things fast and why, why just let it sit there when it can go to somebody else that wants it or you can make your money back because I know kids clothes are very expensive so that's just one way to make your money back so alright guys so now that Kaysen is sleeping I'm gonna straighten up the bathroom and uh cause it's just a little cluttered in here and it is driving me nuts <laughs> so I'm just gonna you know, straighten it up a little bit I don't have my tripod up right now so I'm just gonna have to hold the camera so I apologize if it's a little bit shaky <laughs> So I grabbed my tripod, I'm going to change into some pajamas, and then I'm going to brush my teeth, wash my face, and just do a little bit of my night routine on for some footage for my vlog. <laughs> Wearing these kind of old Victoria's Secret pajama pants that I got like six years ago when I was like 17. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and change real quick. Okay, and now I'm going to wash my face. And I use the the Clean and Clear Night Relaxing Deep Cleansing Wash. And then the spin brush is called Acne Free. I got it from Walmart. I don't remember exactly how much it was, but I bought it like a year ago. And I love it. It's kind of running out of battery, so I don't know how well it's gonna work, but Colgate 360 toothbrush. I don't know, it's by Equate, but it's still sensitive. It's like the off brand to Sensodyne. And it has whitening stuff in it. It says release painful sensitivity, it helps with whitened teeth, prevent cavities. So I love this toothpaste. I've actually have seen a difference with like after using this, like the color of my teeth, like they're a lot whiter. So. that pretty much wraps up my night routine and the vlog um if you guys enjoyed this vlog or don't forget to hit that like button and if you are new here i would like to see more content from my channel don't forget to subscribe and i will see you guys next time